Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. Through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the million dollar challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So the objective is try to get 201 trades, each and every return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades. We do take into account losses. So for further details about how to join us for less than $9 a month, information is available in the description below. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the question, do we fix metamaterials in order to fix MMTLP? And we're also going to be looking at Tixamal AEON, which was a call in the Discord and currently up over 100% today. So congratulations to everybody who got into AEON. So before we get started, let's have a look at what's happening in the market. So first headline here from Market Watch. Uh, we can see um, in the previous video, I did cover DJT. And uh, we can see here from Market Watch, from Trump's DJT to crypto plays, uh, stocks are climbing after the failed assassination attempt on the uh, former president and uh, I can see the overall day is good for the market and from CNBC we can see the Dow Jones has jumped approximately 300 points uh, to uh, a record high as Trump survived and uh, from uh, stock market news in terms of uh, update for inflation we can see that the Fed's Jerome Powell has stated that the Fed's wait for inflation to get to 2% to cut cut it has waited uh, too long so that's a strong indication that we are likely to get uh, interest rates uh, cut sooner and hopefully uh, two in 2024 and we can see now the market is pitching in Jerome Powell and the Fed cutting rates potentially even three times in 2024 so great news there and uh, an update I shared for Apple and AMD earlier was with, with regard to Apple Loop Capital has a great uh, upgrades Apple to buy from a previous hold rating and the target price has been increased to a staggering $300 up from $170. And we can see that Apple is up uh, quite significantly today. And uh, other good news in terms of uh, Tesla, again, at one point Tesla did go up in excess of $260 and I do expect this to continue. So I'm going to start by having a look at tick symbol AEON, also known as Aeon Bio Pharma. And this was a call in our weekly watch list shared prior to trading on Monday. And uh, we did look at FDA news and that is expected in 2024 and it could potentially be running on rumor. Uh, and we'll have a look at the chart for today. I know some uh, members of the Discord did get into AEON and at one point it was up well in excess of 100%. Currently at time of editing up in excess of 91%. And uh, I did also post about this uh, and uh, in terms of uh, the weekly watch list or other stocks that we also called out in the previous week and again we have been following uh, tick symbol ZAPP again this week last week it was up 63% uh, we also called out JMIA the previous week up over 52% and we have a look at the chart for uh, ZAPP right now it has uh, reversed up into green and currently up over 10% so before we look at an important post from George Palacaros, I'm going to give a shout out here to Kay Kep, who's posted with regard to Metamaterials and MMTLP, uh, tagging in Jack Harding and stating before entering the express lane to corporate destruction, can you please explain why you got rid of the scientific advisory board? So this is in relation to Metamaterials. And can you also explain why you got rid of Professor Jeff Dan and he was also a direct con connection to Tesla and what Pro Street has also stated is Jack is buttering up George pri previously to take over MMAT, which holds over 500 plus patents. I believe those patents are now running out fast because they are expiring and this was also covered in uh, one of the previous videos and he also states here Jack ends up getting the entire board to vote George out of Meta Materials uh, and obviously also featured in previous video they sold Nanotech for $10 million which was acquired for $90 million plus. Let's have a look at an important post from George Palagaros with regard to saving Meta Materials and what he stated here is an update for fellow shareholders and uh, he's basically saying our company is being dismantled with regard to Meta Materials and he states here we have been kept in the dark for months and the kneecapping does not benefit anybody and is a breach of fiduciary duty so I think this is a direct attack on the new board and he states here please take action and uh, in terms of fact number one he states after the 8k announcing that 80% of the workforce have been reduced he has emailed and he has proposed offering all his shares back to the company and uh, in order to help them 
uh, raise new capital, but it looks like this has not been accepted. Uh, fact number two is also stated he has issued a new demand uh, in terms of letters through different law firms. And despite his efforts, there has been no support for resolution and he hereby permits the board and management to publicly share his demand letters. So, so if we have a look at one, a copy of the letter here, what George has stated here is um, uh, this letter through a company called Snell and Wilmer representing him dated June of 28, 2024, uh, with regard to what he's just been saying here. Uh, but the key thing I've highlighted at the bottom is basically he's looking at uh, uh, a statement here saying contains uh, from the company that they have uh, basically sharing information that contains material inaccuracies that harm Meta's ability to maximize shareholder value for a sale because interested buyers don't have the current accurate information on which to base offers for Meta or its assets. So I think this is a good point because because nobody knows the company better than George. And if there are buyers being lined up, then they need to speak to George. So according to George, the following is a list of inaccuracies that he has identified. And unfortunately right now, I think due to confidentiality, these um, uh, things are being uh, blacked out, but I'm uh, assuming he's given the company permission to share them. So let's see if that happens. I'm not, I'm not crossing my fingers, but we move on to fact number three. He states here, he still owns the largest stake in the company. So remember, he was uh, the previous CEO. He was the biggest shareholder, but he was removed from the board. Uh, he does remain connected to shareholders, former employees, customers, and suppliers, many who are ready to testify. Uh, I, and certainly testify regarding the management actions. So uh, George is also saying he's working every day with resources to save the company's uh, world-changing technologies and hold uh, he holds the, the Meta Materials current board accountable. So uh, he's basically saying uh, in terms of an allegation that they are currently only looking after themselves. And I think there is a strong ground and strong basis for that. Uh, and he states he's do not intend, they do not to intend to create any shareholder wealth evidenced by recent announcements i would also say evidenced by the recent crash in the share price and the one for 100 split that the, the board just did without shareholder permission and he states here many more indicators he urges the company to release the non-confidential uh, teaser document and re uh, also reveal who uh, the financial advisory people are and he also goes on to say uh, strong words here do us a favor resign uh, because alternative, they are risking becoming the first board of the NASDAQ that could lose three consecutive major shareholder proposals within 12 months. So I think that is a realistic proposition. Uh, referring now to Nanotech, he says the Nanotech asset deal cannot be reversed. Uh, if it can, sorry, if it cannot be reversed, the company will have forever lost its Metamaterials foundry and also um, the potential volume manufacturing and uh, platform capabilities. And he believes this is worth well over $150 million. So he believes the potential for Metamaterials could have been an AI uh, driven uh, device tech company focused around Flepsis and also uh, with regard to this technology, he, he believes it could have gone on to become um, uh, a Fortune 500 company. Well, I think um, it doesn't look like that is happening right now. And George is finishing off by basically saying his DMs are open. And one last fact, the company's website is also showing a leadership team page where half of the people have already gone for weeks. So why are shareholders being misled? And also we do not have um, uh, accurate information being provided by the board. So uh, we will be keeping an eye out here for further updates. So let's now get some reactions from the shareholders and what Mr. Gallagher has stated. Just tell us what you need, George, and we are here to help. What Wendell has stated is we stand with you, George. It should be apparent by now that the board is in gross violation of their duties and he will support any legal action uh, that will pull the curtain back on the criminal acts. Uh, and what George Tonage has also stated here is, the, did you hire the board? I'm going to put that as a question um, and then let George respond to that. What Darren has stated, he's lost $80,000 between Meta Materials and MMTLP. He believes he was lied to, or he was stolen from, and he doesn't have any animosity towards George, but it seems like a hostile taker for Meta Materials. Uh, and uh, what Ben ZF has stated, he has tried to DM him because uh, George did say his DMs are open, but I don't think he's been successful. And what Jay Crocker stated is that MMTLP appears that this concern has been brought up many times without a clear response. If Metamaterials goes bankrupt, could it potentially impact 
MMTLP in any way. So my response to this is right now there there is no direct link between them. I think previously there was certainly a strong link and I would also say that Metamaterials is also the company that has the history of uh, correspondence between FINRA and the SEC. But right now, uh, if anything happens to Metamaterials, it should not impact MMTLP directly. So we uh, also goes on to say, instead of offering a solution to address our unsettled positions, uh, this is not meant to instill fear, but rather than to seek clarification. And I think uh, George has uh, stated that he would like to fix uh, the MMTLP fiasco as well, and he's ready to speak to Congress, and he has gone on to record to, uh, in terms of saying that. But what um, George has also stated that is, in terms of what we do know, is that f Congress have not been forthcoming. Uh, what I read at the uh, as stated at the bottom is if they go go bankrupt, what, how will that affect MMTLP? I think right now it doesn't have an initial bearing on it. Uh, and finally, what Wendell has also gone on to say is if the board thinks they will walk away from their criminal actions, they've got another thing coming. There is a mountain of evidence and he's tagging in John Stewart and asking him to speak to George Palacaros. Finally, if you'd like to get a copy of our weekly watch list as well as a copy of our daily stock alerts, details are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.